Hey y'all, it's your girl tonight, Jane. If you're new, hey girl, hey, and if you're not, welcome back. So as you guys can tell, today we'll be doing a little transformation video because your girl looks toe up. Like, let's be honest, I look toe up. Look at this little braid, y'all. What the heck is this? But anyways, before we get into the video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. It's been a few hours, but I am back. Um, as you can see, I blow dried my hair. And now it's time to pre-part the hair and um, start braiding it. I don't know. I'm so quiet in my energies now because I'm indecisive, y'all. I don't know if I want to do the two braids or the six braids. So, <clears throat> so yeah. I don't know. What do y'all think? I might end up doing... I'm going to try both. If the six braids don't work, I'll just split my hair down the middle and try to do two braids. Because, yeah. I finally finished my hair. I'm not going to lie. I struggled. So, I did these two braids. And then my mom did the rest. Because, <sighs> y'all, I did this braid like three times. No, like four times. And I did this one like three times. I was just so stressed. I couldn't do it. Let me not say I couldn't do it because I did do it, but y'all get the point. The woman wanted to do the whole head for three hours for six braids. No, so yeah, but I'm not gonna lie, it is later, so I am gonna get back to you guys in the morning. I just want to come back and show you guys that my hair did get done. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully, I don't know. I might do my nails tomorrow. I might try to have my sister do my nails tomorrow. I don't know, it's kind of pushing this last minute. She might get me for that one. But, um, yeah, I think I might show you guys the verse today because I am about to go to sleep. And I try to, you know, read my Bible and pray before I wake up. Not before I wake up. Before I go to sleep. I'm sorry. And then pray in the morning when I first wake up. So, yeah. Hey, y'all. So, I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys for a little bit. Um... It's the next day, as I said in the previous clip, but I am basically decluttering my room because my room is a complete mess and yeah, I'm about to start my new week like that. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to prop the camera up so you guys can watch and yeah. y'all so here's a little quick update i just mopped the floor took everything out so now i'm waiting for it to dry <laughs> that's the tea i like to drink i also like to do like a really good peppermint or mint type of tea so good I'm sitting up here journaling and I was just thinking like maybe y'all need to hear this too so I just wanted to say like 
you know, I'm on my journey of self-love, self-healing. I was at one point and then I stopped and got distracted. Y'all already know how that goes. But I just wanted to say, like, I'm sitting here writing down a list of things that I want and a list of things that I don't want. As you guys seen in the last video, I was writing down what I desire out of life. But I wanted to come back to that and add to it because it's like we really can manifest anything over our lives. And I feel like people don't realize the power that our tongue holds. So I just wanted to get on here and say, like, manifest good things of yourself. Like, you can. You can. You can put anything, anything that you put out into this atmosphere, into this world, into this universe. You can very much do. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we don't realize that. And I tested the theory. I could tell you guys this. I tested that theory um, in high school. And I told myself I was going to graduate early. And everybody's telling me no. Like, my coaches, the counselor, the teachers, everybody at school was saying I was going to graduate. Who graduated, though? Who graduated early? Who graduated early? Granted, it was only a semester early, but I still graduated early. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? So, it's like, don't let anybody get in the way of that. And... If I were to tell, if I were to tell you how my high school experience was, maybe I'll do a, a a story time on that. How my high school experience was, um, it was pretty bad. My freshman year, I had a really really low GPA. It was bad. Okay, so if anybody would have told me that my junior year I was going to graduate early, like what? My senior year I was going to graduate early, but I wouldn't have believed believed them. Like what? So, yeah, start manifesting. Start writing down things that you want and things that you don't want out of life um and just really stick to it stick to your goals i am on a six month um not really challenge i don't know if i should say journey i don't know what to put it under but i'm on a six month like yeah i'm gonna call it a journey a six month journey to see how far i can go you know and um i've done it before i've done these challenges before and i get pretty far once i focus in on whatever i want to get done I do it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, bet against yourself. Why not? You can't lose. So, yeah. But I'm just sitting here writing down a bunch of stuff and things that I want in all aspects. Money, career, love, romantic, whatever you want to call that relationship-wise. Um, just everything. Everything. Where I see myself in five years. And when you write this stuff, be specific. I don't even think I said that right. But be be as detailed as possible. I want a 2023 G-Wagon. I want a luxurious, a luxury apartment. I want this. I want that. I will. And that's another thing too. Don't say I want. Say I will. Because you already have it. Claim it. It's already yours. Like, you know? So it's like, stop playing with your potential. Pookie butt. Pookie bear. Whoever I'm looking at through this. You know, you, yeah, stop playing with your potential because you very much could do whatever you want, okay? All right. That's the end of my TED Talk. But um, I'm going to sit up here and journal a little bit more, and then after this, I'm going to hop in the shower, and I'm going to close this video out because I really don't have nothing else for this week's vlog. It was very chill, very laid back. And like I said, I'm just on my healing journey and working on myself, and... I feel like at this very young age, I'm only 20, at this very young age, I need to do that. It's imperative. It's important, you know, because I don't want to look up and I'm 30 and not know who I am or what I like to do. You know what I'm saying? So it's important to know what you do and what you don't like. So that's kind of where I'm at with it. Um, I just want to learn myself, be comfortable with myself, love myself, and yeah, period. <laughs> I'ma stick with you forever. Anyways, stop playing, girl. I'm about to hop in the shower, but I just want to show you guys like this job is beating up my body. <laughs> like, do you see that? Look at my ankles. Look at my legs. My legs never used to be had like marks on them like that. That is not cute. Oh my goodness. But these are bruises. They're not like, yeah, that's a whole bruise. Hey y'all, so I'm out of the shower. I just wanted to come out here and say um, thank you guys for watching. I'll be back next week. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, bye.